The most frequently used ODE solver in MATLAB and Simulink is ODE 4.5. It's based on method published by British mathematicians J.R. Normand and P.J. Prince in 1980. The basic method is order 5. The error correction uses a companion order 4 method. The first slope at Tn is first same as last left over from the previous successful step. Then there are five more slopes from function values at a fifth h, three tenths h, four fifths h, eight nines h, and then at Tn plus one. These six slopes, linear combinations of them, are used to produce Yn plus 1. The function, value, the function is evaluated at uh, Tn plus 1 and Yn plus 1 to get a seventh slope, and then linear combinations of these are used to produce the error estimate. Again, if the error estimate is less than the specified uh, accuracy requirement, the step is successful, and then that, that error estimate is used to get the uh, next step size. If the error is too big, uh, the step is unsuccessful, and that error estimate is used to get the, um, used to get the step size to do the step over again. If you want to see the actual coefficients that are used, you can go into the code for ODE 4.5, there's a table with the coefficients, or you can go to the uh, Wikipedia page for the Dorman Prince method, and there's the same coefficients. As an aside, here's an interesting fact about higher order Runga Kutta methods. Classical Runga Kutta required four function evaluations per step to get order four. Dorman Prince requires six function evaluations per step to get order five. You can't get order five with uh, just five function evaluations. And then as we try and if we were to try and achieve higher order, it would take even more function evaluations per step. Let's use OD45 to compute e to the t. y prime is equal to y. We can ask for output by supplying an argument called t-span. 0 in steps of point 0.1 to 1. If we supply that as the input argument to solve this differential equation and get the output at those points, that we get that back as the output. And now here's the Approximation is to the solution to the net differential equation at, that, at those points. If we plot it, here's the solution at those points. And to see how accurate it is, we see that we're actually getting this um, result to nine digits. ODE 45 is very accurate. Let's look at step size choice on our problem with near singularity. A is a quarter. Y naught is close to 16. The differential equation is Y prime is 2A minus T Y squared. We let uh, ODE 45 choose its own step size by indicating we just want to indicate from integrate from 0 to 1. We capture the output in T and Y and plot it. Now, here, there's a lot of points here, but this is misleading because ODE 45 is using, by default, is using the refine option. It's only evalu actually evaluating the function at every fourth one of these points and then using the interpolant to um, fill in in between. So we actually need um, a, um, a little different plot here. 
This plot shows a little better what's going on. The big dots are the points that um, ODE 45 chose to evaluate the, the differential equation, and the little dots are filled in with the interpolant. So the big dots are every fourth point, and the refine option says uh, that the big dots are too far apart, and we need to fill it in with the interpolant. So this is the continuous interpolant in action. Uh, the big dots are concentrated, are more closely concentrated as we have to go around the curve, and then um, as we get farther away from the singularity, uh, the step size increases. So this shows the um, high accuracy of ODE 45 and the automatic step size choice in action. Here's an exercise. Compare ODE 23 and ODE 45 by using each of them to compute pi. The integral 4 over 1 plus t squared from 0 to 1 is pi. You can express that as a differential equation. Uh, use each of the routines to integrate that differential equation and see how close they get to computing pi. Uh, 